Hello everyone, my name is Hisham. I'm the owner of Clemson Aeronautics where we make the riveting and dimpling system. This is our uh, telephone number and our website. If you like, you can give us a call to order our system or you can uh, call us to ask us any question about how it works and all that stuff. Uh, we are continuing with our rudder build for our RV14A. Uh, I have taken some videos about our uh, dimpling system that we dimpled all these parts on our little device that we make uh, using the uh, uh, pneumatic dimpler. And we, you're going to see that we dimpled all the parts on there. Then I uh, primed all the parts. So uh, we started by scuffing the parts, then dimpling them, then priming them. This is almost all the parts with the exception of the skin. So next we're going to be working with the skin to get it ready. Uh, we have to scuff it first, then dimple it. Then we're going to be priming it in preparation for all the riveting. And this will be our, you can say, <laughs> premiere demonstration for riveting the stiffeners to the skin, which is a primary function of our riveting and dimpling system. If you're working on your RV-14 rudder skin, you will notice that the burr is primarily from the inside of the skin. At least this is mine, uh, is that way. I'm going to use the Scotch-Brite pads to scuff right over where the holes are uh, for the where we're going to be riveting the stiffeners and uh, the trailing edge and the uh, ribs and this par. I'm going to use the scotch bright pad to deeper these holes with it. Um, I don't think it's a good idea to use a deburring tool to do that. The skin is only 16 thousandths. If, if I go just tiny little bit heavy on that, it will enlarge the, um, the hole. And if it doesn't, at least it's going to make the skin so thin inside the wall of that hole. So I'm just going to use the scotch bright to make sure that I de the hole is deeper. Um, I, you probably can see this one line that I deburred with my uh, scotch bright and um, I really felt it and it does seem like it did a good job of deburring the hole so this is this is all I'm gonna do for that I'm gonna deep deeper I'm gonna dimple it the way it is and um, then
prime it. I think it is plain enough. That's my opinion. Of course, you have to consult with your manual to see what you gotta do, but this is good enough for me. One note that I need to make about clad. Al clad is covering the surface of sheet metal with a layer of pure aluminum. Pure aluminum is highly resistant to corrosion. So they covered up the sheet like 2024. It is covered with 5% of the thickness on each side with this pure aluminum. Now, 5% of the thickness. In the case of the rudder skin, it is only 16,000 thick. That means that layer is not even one thousandth of an inch thick. So it is point zero 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 eight of an inch on each side. So you have to be really careful when you're scuffing it not to take that very thin layer off. It is just barely enough to just you know just etch it just a little bit. And in this case here I'm actually using a used uh, scotch bright pad so I would be just a little bit light on the scuffing when it comes to that specific surface so be careful when you do that um, you are uh, doing this so you can um, uh, prime it uh, which is a, a great thing of course um, so, but be careful not to take the entire clad uh, surface off of there. I just finished um, scuffing over the holes and uh, I sprayed uh, purple eye alcohol on there and I cleaned it up with a towel. And after I finished, I noticed that the dust from what I scuffed scratched all over the skin uh, since the clad is so thin on this thing I think I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the entire thing from the inside I'm not gonna scuff the whole thing but it's self etching um, primer so it's not gonna add that much weight an ounce if at the most so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, prime the whole thing from the inside well I finished uh, scuffing both left and right skins and uh, I'll call it a day and tomorrow we'll be doing the dimpling of the skin then uh, priming both skins and I'll let it dry uh, for tomorrow and uh, perhaps tomorrow also we'll be doing some riveting uh, the parts that go on the spar and uh, to get ready for the final assembly of the rudder. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.